Hey guys, welcome back to Boss Beginnings. Yes, new beginnings, new channel, new name. We're just doing new things, okay? So today we're going to be talking about polygamy and whether or not polygamy can save marriage in the Black community. Because right now, we're like at 29% of uh, Black people can get married or stay married, let's say that, uh, that are married right now, like 29%. Um, but before we get started, as always, make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment and let me know you're here, whether or not you agree that maybe, you know, polygamy is the way of the future or there's no way around it. Uh, Hello. You... We'll see. All right. So as I was saying, make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment and make sure you share. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Um, for those who don't know, I'm J Boy. Everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not new to this show. You know what I'm saying? I'm always here. You know, I'm I'm a regular yeah, guest. I haven't done the show in a while. <laughs> hey, so, but they remember they ain't forget the crazy one. You and know, I kind of hid. I kind of hid. Uh, I kind of hid the old video, so they're not on my channel anymore. Oh, you hear the video? Hey, see, look, I you know what I'm Told me out the videos, but uh, yeah, you man, you can find me on Instagram. You. I hid them just because I was going in a different direction. So oh, did you? now I'm going back. So <laughs> like I was saying, y'all can find me on Instagram, uh J Boy Entertainment. You can find me on YouTube, J Boy Entertainment. I think my Instagram J Boy underscore entertainment. And then you can find me on TikTok, J Boy Dot Entertainment. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Well today yeah. the craft will be I'm making these drink uh oh. drink powders. What's up, baby? I'm going to edit those, uh, whatever, and so that will be the craft. I mean, I did a little just that quick, and I searched everywhere for these scissors. Now I can't even find the craft. All right, so what we want to talk about is, I don't know if you read the title. The title is, um, this is Dollar Tree Contact Paper, or Dollar Twenty Five Tree um, Contact Paper. The title is, is Plague Me the Key to Saving Black Marriages, right? Because right now, um, we're at a point where only 29% of black people are married, right? And, you know, 70% of black babies are born to unwed moms. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of work to be done. You know, instead of talking about who's to blame and what's to blame, like, we need to talk about some solutions, right? Are there some things that we can do to increase the chance of there being a family, no matter what that family looks like? So, first, tell me what are your thoughts on polygamy? Me? Yes. Or people? Me. And are you a polygamy? Damn. Hold <laughs> on. I heard you. Come here. Want to put your phone on mute right quick? Come here. <laughs> There you go. Well, I'll start with mine, okay? I didn't know he was going to be babysitting. All right, so here we go. Uh, and let me know when you're ready to be unmuted, okay? I understand. I understand you're trying to be a father, you know? Um, but yeah, so so first we're going to talk about what is polygamy or whatever. So polygamy is when you have more than one, one partner, right? So it's still a unit, a marriage unit. It's just when you have more than one partner. And I hope I spelled it right on there. But yeah, it's, you have more than one partner. He's distracted. Oh, is she cute? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm back. All right, now go ahead. So, what Please. are your thoughts on polygamy? Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't know too much about it. I've never really just indulged into the whole conversation. I really like actually looked it up. You know what I'm saying? Well, what are your thoughts on it? Like, what you understand um, for the polygamy? But from what I understand, it's about being in, um, uh, I don't want to say, is it, is it like an open relationship in a sense? It's like open, but on, on, on his, on, on his end, but not hers, right? No, 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 no. So that's, that's your, okay, that's your thoughts of polygamy. So do you agree with that? Is that a lifestyle that you feel like that you could, uh, have? Like maybe I'm more <laughs> a lifestyle. <laughs> no, it's not a lifestyle I'll have. <laughs> I said, is that a lifestyle that you think you could have? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean because would be. Say that again. What do you think the benefits 
of having multiple partners could be for the male or for like both for both like what do you think the benefits are what, what, what would be the benefit for you for me for me it would be um uh like I've, like I've said before, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, every woman serves her purpose. Oh, huh? every woman serves her purpose. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you got some that's better than others that do this better than others. So, I mean, for me, that would be one. Do what exactly? I just want to make sure we're I mean, do, this. do whatever. I mean, you got, like I said before, like you might one that got might, that might give you the best head, one that might be the best sexual uh, intercourse, so it's, or maybe it's more so sexual penetration. Why? Uh, family wise, uh, it could be that too because you might you might got that one yeah, person that's that, the afterthought when you think of polygamy. Well, I mean, you can you can you, I mean, because you 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 like you can meet a female or something, whatever case it be, and she just yeah. mentally mentally whatever woman female <laughs> same difference, and her her mental. Female, oh my God, you a woman is a female. <laughs> <person>. <laughs> <laughs> but her mental, her mental might be what you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you might not really just want to have sex with her. I mean, it's, it's so many ways to flip it. It's so many ways to flip it. But if you're going to be in a polygamous relationship with them, like, uh, it's still a relationship. So you still would need to have the, the mental and the physical attraction to make it work. Of you course you, uh, I mean, cause, uh, I mean, because what she ain't putting out sexually, you get it from the other one. So, but what about her needs? I mean, I, now I'm talking about saying you fulfilling her needs. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she just might not be fulfilling your needs. Okay. okay. See, I am not, I'm actually not against, I mean, that's not a lifestyle I want to live. But when I see others, I'm actually not against, believe me, I actually believe, like what the title says, I actually believe, uh, Tiffy says, it seems as if when it comes to black men, that it's always about the about sex. sex. Tippy, and, Tippy, but it's and I, I her, but I think uh, it's not though. It's not though because I mean, you're younger. Mm -hmm. When you're younger, yeah, it's all about the sex. Don't get me wrong. When you right. as you start getting older and you start advancing yourself in life, right. you start to be more on some mental. You know what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong. Sex is sex is fun. So I mean, you know, right. sex is sex. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, as you start getting older, it start being more about the mental. But at the same time. Sex is a factor. I don't care how you flip it. Females, right. yeah, you know, yeah, you're right. You know, women act like, oh, it ain't about the sex. Then you get well, the. I guess they feel like that should be, it shouldn't be obsolete. I, I feel like they feel. I feel like people feel like men are making connections based off the sex instead of saying, I really connect mentally with this person. I love them as a whole person, and and the sex is the extra thing that takes it there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying yeah. that you, you know you should. You shouldn't, you know, want that connection, but there should be other connections outside of that. That's true too, but at the same time, you can have a mental connection, but if the sex ain't good, you regardless, like you teach people to get where you want them to be. Say if both y'all are open, you don't feel like you can teach people to get them where you want them to be. If you're supposed Sexually? to, be, if, yeah, if you're supposed to be this dominant alpha male that's leading, you're not able to lead your partner. Where you feel like you know they need to be led to get where you want to be, like uh, are you not able to communicate that to that person? And of before course you, you can. Go, okay, so I mean, yeah. so then when you say that, I definitely agree that it has to be there, right? But I feel like you could communicate that, and you could ask for what you want. Is but I mean, you get to the but you get to the point. You perform sexually, so like when y'all hit like thirty five. You know, your peak starts to go down. You hit the wall. But look, though. But no, nah, I doubt it. But as you become an adult, like, I, I, I shouldn't. But look, look, look what I'm saying, though. But as I become an adult, like, you're an adult now. Like, I shouldn't have to teach mm -hmm. you how to be. You know, I shouldn't have to teach you. I'm you not, am I, I'm not a teacher. Okay. But listen. Either. But I don't. But, you know, the woman you date doesn't know what you want, right? So, like, if I you mean, can't communicate that. And you can't tell that person because we can't read minds, right? So if you can't okay. communicate that and you can't tell that person what you need, I mean, how they're going to evolve in the relationship. That's with anything, not even just that. That's that too, yeah. That be communication one-on-one. -on -one. You got to set your expectations of what you want. That's understandable. That's understandable. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So did you get back on the, get back on topic of polygamy? So uh, I think there are benefits to polygamy, right? Uh, especially in a community like ours. So for me, I think, uh, you know, if I could be a polygamist with two husbands, I could see how that could benefit me because we're in a community where the women are out earning the men. And so 
if we could get two of you guys together to make the income that we need to, to bring our household and one can be like you said, can be the intellectual one and, you know, can, you know, run the house. And maybe the one is more like the nurturing one um, that can nurture the relationship, but they can work together to raise the kids and to build the household. I feel like that really could help the community um, going forward. What do you think? Do you think you could be a brother? What would it be called? A brother husband? What's, what's a brother husband? <laughs> like, you know, a sister wife, like, you know, you have a wife and then you'll have a, a, a best friend and your wife's husband. Your wife's other husband. So so basically you're saying me, like, 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 it'd be me and another dude with the one woman? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> like y'all, you and the dude don't have to have like you know interaction like that. Y'all would just be friends, but y'all would share a wife. So Ooh, like sure. if your income I'm isn't trying... where it used to be, uh, hopefully I'll just have um. <laughs> I mean, hopefully uh, dang, that couldn't be my wife though. Nah, it couldn't be your wife. Nah, but you could be okay with having two wives. I don't even think I would want two wives, but you I mean, too, too much nah. responsibility. It's not that it's too much responsibility. That's just two wives. Though. I say a lot don't like sharing. So you don't like to share, but you want women to share. Um, no, I really, I really, I really ain't even for all that. It's just like I'm mm -hmm. one of them guys that you know. Uh, I just like to do what I do. I mean, it's that. It ain't about having. So when you say you like to do what you do, what, what do you like to do? Because I'm about to pull up the article we're going to discuss. Go ahead, talk. I mean, what I like to do, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just one of those guys that, uh, like I mm -hmm. say, um, I could be in a relationship, but... You can be monogamous? Oh. And meaning that you're not messing with anybody else, you're just with your wife. Probably if she, probably if she's just nasty enough, yeah. If she's nasty enough, yeah. So you feel like I mean, cause I mean, cause I mean, cause she can mentally be there. She can mentally be there, right? She can mentally be there. Right. But she got to be nasty enough, sexual, to keep me just to keep me there. You know. So why don't you just date? Me? Okay, so instead of saying, "Well, you know, I'm dating this woman, I really like her mentally, but she's just not there for me," why you won't just date the woman that that fits that that checks off that box? You know, because I mean, I mean, as a, I don't know. Sometimes you still you, you start want you still get the wondering. It's it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to explain. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand it. But Why, uh, you know, human? <laughs> it's not that shit. Nah, it ain't. A man knows he truly wants to marry. He can only be in love with one woman. No, you can't. That's see, that's that's the problem. Y'all always y'all stuck on it. I don't know where y'all get this from that you you could be in love with one woman. It don't work. That's not real life. That's that's just. Something that y'all would that would that would put in y'all head, you know what I'm saying? So, so what it, okay, explain that. to us what it is then. Why I find it I hard. feel like I, I feel like you can love more than one person. Like you can be in love with more than one person at the same time. You don't have to just be in love with one person. Like that's that don't even sound right. So you believe in polygamy then? Yeah, I ain't never said I didn't believe in it. I just said I don't know much about it. Okay, let, let's look at this, uh, let's look at this article. I'm trying to pull it up. Look at it. Google is fine on what I was saying. They already got it. That's all you talk about. GD, what you doing, folks? Two husbands. Oh, all right, let's see. Can I get the article to pull up? The name of her website is like. Uh, here she is, right here. All right, so she's a very pretty woman to me. All right, here she is. Okay, and let's visit that website. Her husbands are, you know, attractive. So let's look at it. So this, this is her, and this is her two husbands. The, and they are. <laughs> <laughs> he must got the money. The one on the left must got the money. So let me explain her story before I go all into it. So she, her and her husband were married for two years, right? Uh. It says he can love many women, but be in love with only one. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so that one woman that you want to have that connection that you want to grow with, that you want to spend your life with, at least at one time, you know. And I say you can't divorce somebody, find somebody new. 
Um, but um, so so she said she was with her main husband. Okay, so let me pull it up. So Which the one, the main husband? The man to the right is they were married for twelve years, and mm -hmm. she said around year four she uh, caught feelings for the drummer at her church, and so she went to her husband with her desires. They didn't act on them at the moment, but about twelve years in, um, they decided that they wanted to live a poly polygamous lifestyle. And she got an extra husband. So time out though. So. Mm -hmm. She said she caught feelings. So basically, they was already chopping it up before she even caught the feelings for the cat. You see what I'm saying? So she was already doing what she was doing, but then she just wanted to bring it to the forefront to her husband. Look. Well, they didn't do it going. at that time. Like she just let him know. And but what I'm saying is that she but but you she was already talking to this cat. You don't just catch feelings from like out the blue. Yeah, they worked she together was, at church. But she was but they was talking about more than just work. Work situations, more than church stuff. No, she just likes the style. Man, that um, sounds good. But go ahead. His style. What's that? Do you, do you see him? What that style? Him, that, ain't, that ain't the dude. What? The, huh? That's not the dude. Because they didn't do it then. They did it four years. They, they did it at year 12. So she said this is year four. Um, she said first they wanted to master their own relationship first and make sure, um, and make sure that they had a connection and that they were you know, in sync with each other. And after they mastered their relationship, she, um, they, uh, at year 12, they decided to have a, she said she doesn't call it open, but like her husband can go get another wife. So her husband has another wife now and she has another husband, but the second wife doesn't live in a home with them. She has her own home and they have, you know, of course they can't legally all get married together, but they had a ceremony, um, to, you know, to acknowledge that, right. Uh, he was married to her or whatever. And so she said, the key is that we don't own people. It said, poly girls have all the fun. Here's me and my two partners. One is the body who loves CW. I don't know what CW means. One is the mind who loves CC. They're both 6'3". Amen. Uh, they both have beards. We all wear glasses. One is the southern gent. The other is the southern We live together and we all get along well. I'm raising Hold on, I'm listening. And our oldest two are away at college. Interesting, interesting facts. Both husbands are super hetero. I identify as omnisexual, but not, but I've not had a female body partner since I was eight years old. Yes, humans are sensual at a very young age. Hmm. I wonder what's up with that. Anyways, have a great day. So she posted this online. I guess it went viral. And... I'm shouting goals. It said, guys deserve all the women who shouting goals. Watch if your woman's among them. This is the innermost desire. It said, me too. I'm shouting goals to interested in it. So this is what the people say. <laughs> A queen, I stand. With this, you won't be bothered about anything. I would prefer seven husbands, one for each day. Amen, sister. Weird. Okay. So just to be weird about, not weird, I'm sorry. Just to be like truthful about the whole situation. And let me move this up for a second. Just to be like truthful about the whole situation, I, I sat down and I thought about it and I said, I really do believe there are some benefits to women having multiple husbands, like especially black women. Like I said, because we out earn our partners, uh, because uh, black men die at, a, at an earlier age, um, I think having multiple of them would help with that. And that, you know, you know, like they did a study. And black women are only women when they get married, their net worth doesn't increase because their partners don't make enough money to help their net worth increase. So while other races when they get married, it takes them above the poverty line. That doesn't happen for women. So when women get when black women get married and have kids and they have kids with other with black men, it doesn't increase their net worth. Like statistically, not saying every woman, right? Of course, there's always exceptions, but statistically, it doesn't increase their net worth. So I think this could really, really help if we could have two husbands because then we wouldn't have one husband struggling. And I think that it would be easier for them to be in their role as providers if they had help. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, I mean, because I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's like, that's mm -hmm. too deep. I, I don't think they're deep off into certain things. <laughs> for me, it's just like, 
Hey, you ain't got to be with a black man. Go find you somebody. To go. You can find a provider. You can no, find I somebody have, that got money. You can find some. You can, but you can find somebody with with the money that you're looking for. Whatever you need to get married yeah, to. Yeah, you know but, what I'm saying? It don't have to be too. A people. lot of times we date who's near us. So if we're dating from the pool of men that's near us. More than likely, you know, black women are gonna date black men. Black men are gonna date black women. Not always, right? There's always the exceptions. I said that. Um, but I'm saying more than likely because that's who it, who was in our pool. Like if I if I was in an environment where most of the people around me weren't black, then yeah, I probably wouldn't date black, right? But since I'm in the pool where most of the people around me look like me, I'm gonna date from the people in my pool. And the people in my pool, if they can't afford to be with me, wouldn't it be better to have two of them than one? I mean, yeah, if that's what y'all work out, yeah. <laughs> then say if if he you okay be with brother? that. Husband, if I want I mean, to, I mean, if I, if I I'm, I'm, put, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. If, uh, if all I gotta do, if I ain't really gotta be involved, and I can just come and just deliver. I'm cool with that. No, you have to be a part of the family. Like you ain't gotta mess be with a the part people. of the family. I, I ain't friendly like that though. Yeah, we would, so. what if, okay, what if I say like, hey, I'm gonna find you a guy that you can get along with. Y'all can. What do you like to do? Y'all can talk about real estate together. Y'all can talk about trucking together. You know, this could be your homeboy. You know, we can all start like a but we, but we, we busting you up. Together. But I mean, I guess we can tag team. I guess no, y'all have to tag team. Y'all have y'all designated days. A designated. I, I'm. I, I don't want to be cool with nobody like that. Like I'm. I'm. So I don't want to be cool. You can't think about what's best for the family. I'm saying we can be a family, but I'm 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 in and out. You know what I'm saying? We could talk. Hey, how you doing? In and out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be there all day. I'm trying to be talking about all the be friends with this nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> Cause I just ain't no friendly person like that. <laughs> Let's go to Instagram. I want to see her Instagram. Uh because I think it's a very, very interesting topic. And I, I ain't wife enough. No, I ain't wife enough. Progressive I, I love just... academy. I just can't do that. You can't do it. Okay. What? Well, but you could. Well, I say. I think I could do it both ways. You know, if the person, like, if if I could be, you know, if I was born that way, like, I think if I was born, let me be honest with you. If it was like a really, really wealthy man, I would do it now. Just to be hundred. Like, as long as it's a situation that I don't have to be with the woman. Like, oh you know, yeah. If it's if it's beneficial, like maybe I don't know. If she wealthy, wealthy. If he got some money, if, shit, if he got some money, he's gonna give me some money. I'll take that nigga money too. Shit, come on. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. You know? But yeah, so if it was a rich man and you know he, he wanted me to be a part of his um and I can't remember my um password for Instagram. <laughs> uh he wanted me to be a part of that ain't it. Oh well, I'm gonna get in here. Maybe that's not the email I use. Miss Millionaire. Uh, if it, hold on, I'm sorry, guys. I'm pulling it up. Give me one second. There we go. Next segment. All right, let me pull it up real quick. So it's Progressive Love Academy. Here it is. And now let me share my screen. All right, so to just be, to be 100% honest, I think if it was a man that was very wealthy and he offered me to be a part of his polygamous life, right? And he could provide for me. And there's no woman with woman. It's like, you know, I'm just his wife. You know what I'm saying? But we're all like sister wives. I think the benefit would be is men don't live as long, right? So I have these friends. Hope I mean, I would have to get along with the women. Hopefully I get along with these women. We can help raise each other kids. We could actually be cool. And, you know, I guess jealousy would, you know, definitely come apart. I don't think a guy respects this woman like that is in my opinion. Okay. Hey everyone, I've been studying this topic for a book. What do you think about it, uh, Miss Matthews? What do you think about polygamy? I don't think it's really that bad of an idea, especially when you call when you talk about wealth building, right? Because there's power in numbers. 
So especially because we're not getting married at all. I guess we're not getting married at all. How we gonna ask people to get married to people, right? But I just think, you know, people people grow out of let me see. It said thinking of what D D Snow oh D Snowden said in an interview on Sway in the Morning. What did he say? But we'll wait on your response. If it's with a, a righteous intent, it can be divine. Right, because that's something she talked about, right? She said that if you can't master monogamy first, like just being faithful and loyal to one person, there's no way you can do it, you know, in a polygamous setting. Because, like, think about all the people who are in, like, we've heard about people who said, well, we had an open relationship, and he just couldn't respect the boundaries of uh, you need to come to me first and let me know when you feel like you want to go mess with somebody else. And I have to agree on the person that you mess with. And they weren't and like, they couldn't get the men to even do that. Like they were still being deceitful and going behind their backs. So it's like, at the end of the day, there still has to be a foundation. You still have to have a respect for that person because they're still like, you still have to come to the person. She has to be open and agree with it. Right. And so if you can't do that, it won't work, but I wouldn't want to do a communal living. He'd have to have, he had to be a, a man of serious means to afford separate housing for his um, wives or the wives that prefer to live separately. Yeah, so this is how I feel. If I get along, hopefully I would get along with the sister wives, right, in my mind. Uh, and I would want a big house and I would like want my in, you know what I'm saying? But as long as we got along, like I don't like staying by myself. So the idea he would have to come every other day, like that would, that would irritate me. But like we could have like this big house and I could like be on my end and they could be on their end. And maybe we shared the kitchen and stuff like that. And, you know, but like you said, he a man of me. So we had somebody cleaning it. So it would be no issue. Like, oh, she left these these dishes in the sink and she knows it's my day to cook. And that, 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 that would irritate me. Um, you know, I could do it. I could do it. I could definitely could. Yeah, that's so just uh, like definitely could have two husbands, like I said, just because, you know, <laughs> you could have a smart husband. Like you said, you could have a smart husband. And then you could have like this loving husband, but they could put their two incomes together to make sure I'm taken care of. And so I think that'd be that'd be cool too. So if I if I if I set up a situation, I'm like Jay, like man, like you know, we can make money together, and then we can have this extra husband. You know what I'm saying? And have two husbands. Like y'all think you could you could really get with that? I think the point, like you said, is intense. Oh. Uh -huh. I feel like I ain't, I ain't got to be cool with the cat. I mean, nah, I ain't gonna be. You 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 make it so you just gotta. Thank you. And I ain't been cool with them. Okay, <laughs> here she really is. Let's see what she got to say. She's really pretty. Why can't I hear it? Snuck your mama. What's up? What's up? Oh, there it is right there. What's up? Just spring it on your partner one day. Oh, yeah, we should be polyamorous. I saw a girl online on Instagram. He will be so upset because he will be so scared. Mm -hmm. And he will not want to hear that. I have to walk <coughs> step by step into this well, so that they feel safe and comfortable and that they all have a camaraderie. I can just tell you that men feel masculine when you are in the feminine. Okay. So I approach my men in a feminine way, explaining things, not yelling at them or telling them this is what they have to do. I just give them a choice. I'm like, yeah, I'm open to dating, you know, but... I will always have many partners. You know, I don't believe in monogamy. You know, I, I really bring it to them with that extra savvy to where it's a discussion, not like a, how do you So I feel like in my ideal situation of polygamy, I don't, if I'm having two husbands, then I don't need multiple, I guess there's multiple partners, but I think like she still has multiple partners outside of her marriage. Oh, and yeah. I feel like at that point, it's like, why not just be single? Even if we get along, I don't think I want to see you the baby. I understand that. Or him, or, the, or their kids. I'm a writer. I love my solitude. He can buy one bedroom condo for me and visit a, a once a week. Okay. Not me. <laughs> Two husbands. Huh? <laughs> if I do choose it, I would do it with someone that is experienced in that lifestyle. Example, the African kings, how he managed his concubines there. With you know, I saw this uh, thing I was reading about a African king. It wasn't. Af it was actually American kings. Well, I guess you wouldn't call them kings because they were like chiefs of their tribes here in the, in the Americas before we were colonized or whatever. And uh, what they would do, it was Pocahontas' dad. That's what it was. Okay, it was a story about Pocahontas' dad. 
her dad was like a, a chief, right? And what he did was he had kids with different people in different tribes so they wouldn't war against each other because I guess he was saying like, I have family in each one of these tribes. And he would go find a woman in that tribe and have kids with her and then move on and go to another tribe and have kids with them so that they wouldn't, um, so that they wouldn't uh, war against each other. And they say they are very generous. Okay. Yeah. See, that's another thing too. You got to be open to, you know, the lifestyle. Definitely. It's perfectly yeah, normal to love your spouse unconditionally as you enjoy being in love with other lovers. Okay. Well, she just she'll, she'll, she'll a swinger. That's it. Yeah. It sounds like more so she's a swinger. Yeah, see, yeah. I wouldn't want all these extra people in my life. I would just want, yeah. like, if I was going to be a polygamist, like, we're going to pick who's going to be in our life and that's it. I wouldn't want, you know. Yeah, she like throwing that cat around. That's it. People. You're doing too much, Jay. Yeah. She she, I'm going to um, post some of her interviews that she's done about this topic. And, um, you know, she talks about how she goes online on um, Tinder. <laughs> I got an interesting program lined up for you today. I'm pausing for a second. So let me know what y'all think about having two husbands. Do y'all feel like that you could have two husbands? And do you feel like that would be a benefit for black women to have two husbands? Since we have, uh, if we decide today, I know you said we don't have to date black, but if we decided to date black men, right? Statistics say that we're usually the breadwinner in those situations. And so this way you can have two men put their in income together and help you. And like I said, we're the only group of women that when we get married, our net worth doesn't increase because our, our men don't make as much. And this is not like a, as a dig, like this is just a teaser. Like there, there, are, um, there are articles out there about that, you know? And so uh, this way it could help, right? Because if a man, <laughs> she said that is too much sausage. Uh, if a man can't afford uh, one, a man can't afford one woman, how, however could he afford two, you know? She said, they love to take care of black women. Who, African men? I know they be in love on day one. For some reason, Portia Simon is coming to mind. It said online that uh, he may want to be, uh, may want her to be a sister wife in the near future. A far, uh, a far going conclusion with an African man of means. Like I said, I'm not, you know, if you can afford it, I'm not really against it. You know, <laughs> if you can afford, you know, to have, you know, more than one wife, like truly afford it. I mean, I'm not against it. This is too much sausage. <laughs> Me rules males, males rules W A R. A war against war, thus it can prove very dangerous to have two husbands. And they both so do you think that if you have two husbands, it had to be two men, as you know, I hate this term, but like two beta men, it couldn't be like two alpha males in one home, that there would be conflict. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. So you feel like two confident men couldn't share a wife? Man, nah, man. Yeah, be, swinger, we, swinger. That's almost like uh, what a swinger is like. You going out messing with different women? I know? mean, but uh, but uh, that's a, man. But those but those men be beta too. You know, the, you might have an alpha that go in there just messing with everybody, right? But the but the rest of them just you know, weird men are weird. Some of them like to see their wives, you know, get beat up, and you know, this is weird. And they both know about the other. yeah. They both know about each other. Like like in the Kenya lady. Uh, Progressive Love, what is it called? Progressive Love Academy. She has two husbands. She was married to her husband for 12 years. She, They decided to bring in another husband and they're living their best life. And it's not even an isolated incident. Like when I Google polygamy on the women's side, it's called something with it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of black women that are doing this. And it's like, dang, like what's going on? Like what my husband is? Uh, it said men project women receive and receptive biologically spe uh, speaking I value precious pouch too much for two husbands I'm not D driven one good hubby that provides and protects well that's enough okay well see when we talk about polygamy right I think women are more equipped for polygamy than men and the reason I say that is uh, you know to say you have to please two partners like a man can't go 
you know, they pretend like it. They talk about it on TV a lot. But realistically, a man can't go over and over and over again as far as like endurance and sex. But a woman they got time for over and over and over and over. The exactly. Same, the same but a thing. woman could. A woman could though. But see, that's the thing with the male. The male have two women. He can go from one to the next. next but he can't. He can't keep up like that. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he can. Especially he can have. Woman. You know, I'm he telling you, like as a male, as a male, right? Mm -hmm. As a, as be, being, I am a male, right? Okay, you are. So I can go. So if I, so I can go have intercourse with this one person. Don't mean I want to do it two or three times with her. Then I can go. Then I can. I can. I can get up from there and go to the next person and do what I got to do with her too. You think and you so know. forth. I know. Like I've done it. Done so it? I know. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's what you I'm just saying. Like, it's it's different. It's different. Like it's just different. Like 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 you. I don't know. It's something about it because yo. I don't know. It, it, like the feeling wise, you know what I mean. You be like, ah, I'm done with this. Let me get up and go to the next one. It's that's just how we are. Mm, okay. You see, Mars rules Mars, Alpha and Beta is the latter. It's just a matter of time before he explodes. The male ego is very fragile. I agree with that. It's downsized. I wouldn't play that dangerous game. Yeah, you definitely have your head your gun ready. Uh, it says, check this. It can still prove dangerous if they don't know about the other at first. The ego is, y'all know. We know. The woman could true. I think that you know, men like the idea of having most women, the multiple women. I just feel like in a polygamous relationship, if a woman's in it just to say she's married and taken care of, I think she'll be fine. And just to have the friendships, I think at the end of the day, somebody's going to be left out. I don't think, especially because you know, the older women get the the higher their sex drive goes, but the older men get the lower, so it it wouldn't match. It says a woman could truth. Uh, okay, I read that one. It said, at my age, I don't need over and over again. I rarely want to do it to be. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is because they have multiple people. Oh, you just saying you wouldn't do it over and over again. Okay, I get what you're saying. Matthew needs one time. It's if a wrap. He, <laughs> if he's physically <laughs> fit, no meat, dairy, and workout, his stamina and do it. I agree, but you got to think about the world we live in where people smoking weed every day. And people don't take care of their bodies. People prolong sitting. They drive to work, come home. They don't work out. So a lot of these people are not in, like, they talk about women hit the wall. But when the truth is, men start balding at 25. Like I said, their sex drive goes down. They have low sperm counts because they don't take care of themselves. They have very toxic lifestyles with the drinking, the smoking, all that stuff. So, like, they hit the wall, okay? And that's why they die earlier than we do because, you know, they just don't take care of themselves. What do you think, Jay? I just feel like you hate on the man, on the black man. <laughs> God, dog. All right, all this old self destruct. You just, y'all don't take care of Y'all ain't no balls in that 25. That's the dead expense. Women, women go balls in that 25. So, what's the difference? Not the average woman doesn't. Yeah. It don't matter. Right. It's genetics, man. Y'all, you, you, you playing with the man right now. I'm just telling the truth. Yeah, Look up the video boy. titled Sex Bank Account on the Goals and Guidance channel. She scientifically speaks to how men can have it. His pool of a certain um, pouch is not smart to dole out your whole too. Mm, too much, is what she's saying. What, I mean, what, what? I, get, I get what she's saying, but if you have two designated guys, you know what I'm saying, and they are life partners, you're not just messing with anybody. Y'all all are tested. But don't nobody want, don't nobody want I don't know male won't nobody else just beating up his hole like that. Like, if you don't know about it, yeah, that's different. But if you know knowing about it, you like, hey, is, you, think you know what I'm saying? That maybe you feel like she's comparing you to a bigger man or like she's like be with you, but Did dreaming you know? of someone else. Is that, do you feel like that? I'm, 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 I'm confident. I'm, I'm good with my size. But what I'm saying is just, it's just, it's just, it's just weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just know somebody so beating you up your hole. You're tall with that. So, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. All right. Well, hey, I think you know it's an interesting topic. I think that polygamy would would definitely either way it goes, it could it could uh it. So if you, for me, I like I said, as a woman, all I could be polygamous with multiple women, right? Is if the man was had a, had like you said means, right? He'd have to be wealthy. Uh, I don't necessarily need my own home because I like people. I like people to be around. I would just need my own space. Um, but I think that even if like we did polygamy and it was like 
you know, even like lower income people, it would still benefit them because they could all put their in incomes together and it wouldn't be one person, you know, struggling on their own if they were OK with that, especially when we live in a culture that, you know, um, that glorifies like sneaky links and being a side chick, a side dude or whatever it is. So like, you basically I, just in it for financial gain, basically. But you don't I, care yeah. about everything oh, else. You don't care about hearing him beat the woman, beat beating the woman down. You don't care about hearing that. You just gonna you just gonna put some earmuffs on or some or some music. House, just I'm that. just saying though, but you ain't you ain't tripping on that. You just okay as long. I know when he die, I got I got a bag waiting on me. That's what you you, you good right? I'm no, just, no, no, that's not you. That's what you heard. That's what you zoomed in on. I guess that's what reality. That and to be in this type of relationship, somebody is gonna uh you know I might not be the person that's neglected. But he can't, you know, I just don't feel like a man can give the attention to every woman, you know, if you have multiple wives, that you can get the But you're cool with that. Let me finish my You know that bag coming. You cool. Let me, let me finish my sentence. Can he I don't take care of himself. He, he going to die soon. No, I'm not waiting on him to die. You're not listening. What I'm saying <laughs> is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, if I'm in a polygamous situation and there was multiple wives, somebody's going to be neglected, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to be neglected, I need to have spa days. I need to be able to go shopping. I need to be taken care of. Other stresses need to be relieved because there needs to be some benefit for me being in there. The thing, uh, so that's why I said if I was to do polygamy, it would have to be with a man of means because I know he can't. He can't definitely give us all the same attention. It ain't about, oh, he going to die soon, so I want the money, da-da-da. No, that's not it. Uh, in Pam Grier's memoir, she speaks to how it was when she was dating the NBA uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and the importance of not stretching out your, you know. What she say about her not stretching out? Miss, 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 Miss Matthew just about keeping her keeping her little her little box uh, all tight. You know? <laughs> what she said is she, that she wants one man, right? But we That's need the to, to 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 make the money that needs to be made to provide for their families. You know what I'm saying? So that we can be protected, provided for, and to be loved or whatever. And yes, uh, you know, being provided security is not something to be uh to be ashamed of. Like it's okay to want to be. I feel. You. Exactly. A poly man should act like he cares at least. Yep. Like I was just watching that uh the, the one that comes, the sister wives that come on TLC, you know, the man who had four wives, one of his wives left him. He has not been sexually, uh, that's why I said somebody's gonna be neglected, right? He really likes that last wife he like he married, and that's the only one he's putting his energy into. So one of the wives left. He's mad at the other wife because she was looking for another husband online and got catfish. And then uh he uh he hasn't been sexually involved with any of his wives. But that one in 10 years. They just oh, no. Nah, they tripping. And it's not because they don't want to, but it's just because he only really likes his last wife. Oh, man. Yeah, they stupid. About a wife and about women in general. So she was when you said that Pamela Greer was talking about here, you said the importance of not stretching your, you know, are you talking about the woman or the man? Oh, I guess you got to be talking about the woman. But yeah. So, you know, that's why I said when people enter in these relationships, somebody's going to lose, right? Because he can't, he could never, because he only wants one. Right. So I don't know why he's still being a polygamist and he only really wants one of those women. Like, let those other women free, you know, that, that you don't really want to be with, right? And love, um, and love the woman you want to be with. There's nothing wrong with Man, that. Gigi. Thank you. We're young. We have first business. And this just came so JD said that in uh, Jana, the Janet Jackson documentary, I'm stuttering y'all, my bad, that while he got attention from women prior to dating Miss Jackson, but after he did, so many more women came out. You know, what is that about that, making someone more attractive when you know other people find them attractive? It's like, you know, people like people that other people like. It's just mental, right? Like I said earlier, he only in love with one. Yep. That's so true. All right, it says the woodworks throwing themselves at him. Why he was dating Janet? Some people may want uh, to use his energy via him, upsurp her energy. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess energy thieves. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It seems like women. Do you feel like when you were married that women came after you more because you had a ring than when you were single? Me? Yeah. 
Nah, I mean, I mean, you feel like you just always had women. Of course, you're gonna say that, but go ahead. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> nah, but uh, nah, I ain't never. I mean, I was still young, so I was still. I was still just doing whatever. Like, I mean, I, I was the one hiding from being married. You see what I'm saying? Like, I was more so like, you know what I mean, hiding it until um, because you know, when really, in my opinion, I was always more so like, ain't nobody gonna mess with you because you're married. You see what I'm saying? So, I always kind of kept it a secret until I felt like letting the cat out the bag. Trash. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I mean, cause hey, I mean, cause, you, know, I mean, cause you like you meet you met. I met some. I met some pretty women. They was like, bro. I, I got to hit this. I got to hit this. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So why did you get married? What, what, why did I get married? Like, if you married a woman, what would be the reason you married her? Um, I was young, right? So she was kind of like my high school sweetheart. So, mm-hmm. I mean, the thing was, you know, I, I guess I've never been in love, but I was. it was like a lustful type situation. Like, you know, I, I loved her, but I wasn't in love. But it was like a lustful type situation. So uh, mm-hmm. being young and, um, you know, um. I don't know, just I don't know that that lustful that lustful situation that that was that was heavy heavy for me. Married, what made you want to get married? Uh, I don't know. she was like, "You want to get married?" We was both in the military. And I was like, "Why not?" You know what I'm saying? Then she started talking about extra money. And I was like, "Well, whatever, let's do it." You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. So you trying to secure the bag? Talking about me? Uh, I mean, hey, hey, hey. Empathy, hey. sex uh, creates soul ties. Empathy, sex is taxing on, on the soul. I agree with that. And then, you know, sometimes you go through depressions and you don't understand why you're sad. You got to look at the people in your life because I feel like sometimes you're, like you said, you're taking on their energy and you don't realize where this negative feeling is coming from. And it's the person that you were talking to. Because, like, we won't go personal here. They like what other people like to compete with the other man. I agree with that. Chris Rock, in one of his frame stand up, fame stand ups, he said it. No one wants you to get the story. People like people that are in relationship. Ugh, why? That that's true. And let me. I will tell you a quick story. I was dating this guy that I was just not interested. In. Oh, I wasn't dating him. I dated him. We stopped talking because you know wasn't interested anymore or whatever. Uh, and then I found out he had a girlfriend. And you know, I was younger back then. And something in me, was like, whoa, even though I didn't want to talk to him, I started back talking to him just because he had to because in my mind I needed to break them up. I didn't want him to move on. Again, men project. They can pour it into your uh your their, you they pour into you their karma, good karma and bar, bad karma. I agree with that. I a hundred percent people don't believe in soul ties. Do you believe in soul ties? Yeah. Oh, uh. I don't do you know what like that is. Okay, like when, you, when you're out here just messing with these random women, do you feel like you're tied to them sexually? I mean, like, yeah, like y'all have a soul, you create soul ties when you're messing with the uh, women? Nah, because my, 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 my feelings and emotions don't be into it. I mean, if that's what, you, if that's what you're hinting at, uh, I just be in it to get what I'm trying to get up out of it and deal. I'm but that doesn't mean that, are, that, that you don't carry some of the emotion with you. I'm not saying like, oh, I want to be with this lady. Uh, uh, emotion wise, uh, I might carry um a sexual, a lustful emotion. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Miss Matty says she does. I believe it. So Tiffy says she does. If hugs can blend armors, I probably said that word wrong. What do you think? Change it, auras. What do you think exchanging bodily fluid does? It definitely, I agree with that. I don't think about body fluids like that, but I, I guess whatever you say. I ain't put that much thought into none that of this. I ain't. So you don't think empty sex creates soul ties? Uh, empty sex is the best. You can get in and get out. <laughs> I'm trying to get in and get out. I'm trying to get this, you know what I'm saying? Bust this thing off. And Do you feel like you, get... you and your daughter's mom have like a soul tie? Like if something's always bringing y'all back to each other? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's different. Yeah. But he talking about anybody <laughs> else. I'm asking. Well, us, yeah. us, yeah, us for sure, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It said, and to procreate in the spirit of lust, what do you think the personality of that being will be? So you are you saying that you feel like if you create a child not out of love, out of lust, that that child will uh, then have issues, sexual issues with with sex? Basically, is that what you're saying? Me? No, I'm asking Miss Miss Matthews. He might not realize that he's had a soul tie if you um, feel like you stopped dating. 
I stop dealing with someone. You can feel like you stop dealing with someone. Yeah, baby. You feel like you stop dealing with someone. A psychology child, a person that was conceived via lust holds a completely different psyche than those that were conceived oh. via real love, real righteous love. And what's that? Okay, what's that different psyche? If you can explain that. And how do they know this? The average, I guess you're saying. Dr. Matthews. <laughs> I just yeah, never but, heard this before. This is new. I ain't heard this either. She's pulling up all kinds of stuff. Chris Rock and and I heard the Chris Rock one because he did stand up. I heard that one. Yeah, sometimes you don't realize you're creating these soul ties. Can yeah. soul ties be one sided? Can like you can you have a soul tie with somebody and they not have a soul tie with you? I think so. <laughs> yeah. You might not realize you really want somebody, then like they stop talking to you, then realize you want them. Yeah. Yeah. Not my feeling. What I learned in a psychology class, the professor said that lust nuts are usually very selfish and only care about short-term gratification. So malconsonance. So the child will be like that, is what you're saying. No, I know you said not what you're saying, but you don't want to tell us why I said it like that. But okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's why we got all these selfish kids now, right? You start teaching, you see number of selfish kids. Maybe because they're not being created out of love. They're being created out of uh, lust. Yeah. I don't think that. I think I think I think you're self, you, you selfish is something that you're taught. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say through no sex or whatever. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a yes, yeah, a learned behavior. So what? How, why do you feel like you're selfish? Uh, it's a learned behavior. Uh, I'm selfish because um selfish. because of uh, how I was brought up. I mean, it's the stuff that I saw, the, the things that I, you know, what I'm saying, witness the selfishness that I've witnessed as as a kid. My uncle was selfish. He was a, he was a uh, a drug dealer, and he was selfish. Then my mama, she was selfish and she messed with a bunch of dudes. She was player. That's all I saw. But do you feel like you're still selfish now? Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on being. When you start having kids, you kind of it, it kind of it kind of breaks you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. I'm still selfish, but I try. I, I'm trying. She says, like in baking a cake, um, what goes in is the seed that bakes in the oven, the womb, like into a baby. If only lust is the ingredient, how would their ego be? Okay. And lust is very dramatic, and this is not a dramatic world. There is some selfishness that survives based, uh, survival based too. Yeah. We're all evolving. I agree with that. So I'm a Virgo. I'm September 12th. Uh, his birthday. When is your birthday, Jay? He's gone. But yeah, I'm a Virgo. But yeah, it's an interesting thing. So I guess uh, wait on him to come back. You know, he's been a very rude guest. He hasn't really been like engaged in the conversation. So I really thank you guys for talking to us and getting us through this or whatever. Because my guest has not. But uh, Jay, when your birthday? <laughs> August 19th. Birthday is August night. What that make? What are you? What's your sign? Leo. Leo. Leo's a selfish, right? Very much so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Barry Wright was a great man. I think Virgos are Virgo women are some of the best people you ever meet. I cannot get along. I've dated four Virgo men, and they all been horrible. Exclamation point! Leo. Are you a Leo, Miss Matthews? Well, guys, listen, I want to start doing like online, an online dating show and I need some contestants. OK, so if you know of someone that would be great for my online dating show, if you could submit them to Boss Beginners, like join the group and send me their information. I need your help to find same birthday as uh, Bill Clinton. Who you? Your birthday is the same as Bill Clinton. Um, but yeah, he's a Leo. But yeah, if y'all know anybody that would like to be hooked up, because um, who has the same birthday as Bill Clinton? Because Bill Clinton is a liar. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm going to put it in here. 
I need men and women that would be interested and make the title. Um, I haven't came up with that. I'm thinking about that love show. I know that's simple, but I feel like it says what it needs to say, right? So if you know somebody that wants to be uh, matched up, all right, it's going to be a cute little game. We put women and men together and we might even pay for like a virtual date where y'all can like record yourselves and do a virtual date. I think that would be cute or whatever. And so if you need, if you know somebody who doesn't have a soul tie to somebody else, you know, um, you know, let me send them an email and put in the subject. Uh, just for, that, uh, for now, just put love games in the um, no. in the title. That's what we'll, that's what we're gonna call it. Love games. Right now. I got, got it. We're gonna call it. Okay, so this is my idea. Well, but I'm afraid. Yeah, I do. Virgo key phases I analyze. Name your dating service. That <laughs> just an idea. Oh, that's cute. That would be cute. I'm definitely going to analyze. Right there, right there. You, 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 you typing or something? Am I typing? No. I got, you know, I got my nails. Oh, that, that's a little bit annoying. I just wanted to let you know I thought you was typing or something. Because you're a name. Yeah. Um, I, um, I really, um, I really tell me, tell me about a Leo, Miss, uh, Miss Matthew, since you're doing all this, yeah, since, yeah, yeah, Miss Cleo, come on. All right, okay, I think, I think Leos want to be tough, but they're not, ooh, they protect ooh, the tough exterior, but they're really like a cow gangsters, no, you gangsters, blood. Yeah. At least that's how I feel about you. That's how I feel about Jay. Jay projects this one person. But then he's not really that person, you know. He because tries- you gotta understand, like, like I, I talk, I, like, I, I tell you a lot about my past, you know what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. as I've, as I've grown, as I've gotten older, I've evolved, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But a lot of, a lot of my, a lot of my past was, was, was selfish. Was, 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 it was a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, womanizing type of stuff going on, you know what I'm saying. When I was younger, you know what I mean. Past? What's past? Like, define. I'm joking. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Go ahead. <laughs> but you know, like, like I mean, as you get, like I said, as you get older, you know, what I'm saying, like, you gotta grow. That's the whole purpose. I like, in my opinion, you know, everybody don't grow. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. for me, it's about growth. You know what I'm saying? To becoming better than what I was yesterday, type situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. What so, I will say about you, like when I first met you, to the person that I see sitting in front of front of me today, I will see I've seen growth. I will say that. I will definitely say that. You you watch your words. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're actually I'm because I'm not in your real life. Like I know you, you know, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing on your day to day life, but I've seen definitely growth in you. Yeah, I've definitely seen growth in you. The late Miss Cleo was a psychic, not quite the same as Australia. Uh, oh the Lord, here she go. Psychologist. Let's this is upon this soul. Yeah. It's not like you do it's not like you do like uh witchcraft or something. Uh, no, Matthew. she knows that does not voodoo or something. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for coming in. I want to know if you would, if you could, if you're just tuning in, I want to know. But you don't call me out of my name, expecting a free win. Oh, so Leo, not at all, but most fire signs. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. They something else, okay? They think they always right. What well, they say that about Virgos. But, uh, that's a male thing, though, more than a sign thing. Men think they're right about everything. And the thing that kills me about it is they have nothing to support their ideas. They're just, they're just talking. They're just saying a bunch of words. Lord. <laughs> no, I listen. I listen. I don't always think I'm right because I'm not. You feel me? But at the same time, if I, I mean, because, you know, I do, I, you know, I do, you know, analyze certain things and put things in perspective before I, before I decide to go off the deep end and say what I say. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I listen. I, I ain't always right. I'm a human. You know what I mean? I can't always be right, you know? Mm-hmm. But I'm right majority of the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what up, boys? <laughs> when I'm right, when I'm wrong, <laughs> when I'm right, I'm right. When I'm wrong, I still could be right. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. I say uh, I'm always right. And when I'm not right, I'm just not as, as I'm just not, uh, when I'm wrong, I'm just not as right as I could have been. That's what I always say. <laughs> Because I'm usually right. Because the thing is, if I don't know about it, I don't Ooh. speak on it. Ooh, the ego. ego. I will. I will definitely say that's true. Like, uh, I feel like you know, Leos probably do. You know, have a big ego problem. 
I and got a big ego. And they want people like to bow down to them and like praise them is what I noticed. Come on, come on, but get on down. I know get on get on. I need you to get down on two knees, not one. He get mentioned on two. that actually through YouTube or whatever. I, let me tell you, the ego, like you talked about, right? <laughs> so I posted my video. <laughs> I posted my video on a uh, a link because I was trying to get people to come to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and he had the nerve to reply to my video. With his video, go watch my video. How <laughs> rude is that? You know, what I mean? that's, that's how it happened. That's how. That's how uh, the Fifty Cent movie "Get Rich" or Terrence Howard's role classic scenes. Very much so. The sun rules Leo. The sun energizes the planet. Okay, well, I'm saying. You know energy. what I'm saying? But yeah, he's rude, and um, you know, that's how I met him. Being so, I was like, I saw he was in Houston, and I'm in Dallas, and I was like. You know, like maybe we could do a video together because I was really about collab, trying to find people to collab with, and I haven't collabed with anybody yet. So if anybody has a YouTube, and you want to collab, you know. We, but we, I we, we, we're about to though, for real. Okay, 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 okay. No, we haven't met in person. We're only online friends. That's why I say I don't know what he does in his real life. I only know what he projects and pretends to do. So I don't. I know pretend, it, man. I tell, boy, you know, you know almost everything. <laughs> I don't really about know everything. I know. No, you know everything. Is. I know who Jay has presented himself as. So yeah, that's Ooh. what I know about Jay. Yeah. So usually, I guess you got to catch me in rap form. And who he has presented himself um, as, I feel like he's evolved in his presented personality. <laughs> <laughs> the food here, I mean, I like Louisiana food better, but I guess there's a place if you like Tex Mix. I guess there's a lot of that junk here. But other than that, I mean, it ain't nothing like around. Louisiana for which I got barbecue. We have we good with the spices, okay. The who we good with barbecue, we good with seafood, we good with food, okay. Yeah, I ain't even, yeah, I ain't even good with the gumbo. The gumbo ain't even good, but okay, that's because you put in hot water and, and, and sausages and some meat, and then you go try to get what's what's the that Creole sauce and throw it in, and you think you even made gumbo. That's not gumbo. You need to get somebody to teach you how to make gumbo properly. I've been well, curious about Dallas ever since I fell in love with Miss Erica Badu. Oh, it's all right here. It ain't, you know, ain't nothing right home about the men suck. If you're married already, when you said miss, so yeah, y'all come on. It'll be fine. Now the prices are going up or whatever. Like everything's it's getting expensive. It's almost New York. What's going on up there? Up where? Creole. Yep. Creole food's good. So she don't know how to no, nah, she from where you from in Louisiana? Me? I'm from North Carolina. Tell me that small little city you from. I'm from. I ain't got to tell them. But now nah, I'm from. Tell me, the, I'm yeah, Monroe. You, you ain't never heard of Monroe. That's that. That's, that's off the map. We don't want to be heard of. They know? don't cook. They, they eat squirrels and raccoons and stuff like you that. Know, my daddy did. My daddy. All Madillos. My daddy ate everything. But he's she's talking about Creole. She ain't never ate Creole day in her life. She ate a squirrel, possum soup, which ate something like that. Okay. Can you spell possum? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, guys. P O S S U M. But nice cool. You you should come out here. Where are you from? Yeah, I guess we'll just end. But thank you guys for coming in today. I appreciate you. We're gonna try to go live. Like I said, we get the day thing started. I want to have more live videos. We talk about different. I was supposed to do a crab. Be honest, it's hard to do crabs while you're trying to talk because I get distracted easily. But I guess I just have to make it a separate video. Mm -hmm. But uh. Maybe I had more guests and I wouldn't have had to talk. And then he was really distracted today because he decided to be a father today. You know. No, nah, nigga. I'm... <laughs> Don't do me like that. I'm just playing. Ooh. Trinity J moved to, uh, to Dallas. She seems to like it. I mean, it's okay. I have a child, so I don't do much. How's the food in Houston? How's the food in Houston? It's good. Hey, you need to change that uh that battery and that uh and that smoke detector. But uh, the, yeah, <laughs> man. <it's>, uh... <laughs> The food they used, the food they used to good, man. I mean, that's how he knows, though. You can't ask a person that that's all he's known. How is the food? Like he don't have nothing to compare it to. And his gumbo is really like hot water and uh, chicken broth. It's you like just ready, you just ready your pop. <laughs> <laughs> where y'all, where y'all from? Now, nah, the, the food, the food in Houston is good. I mean, we got everything. Yeah, I got everything. Cool, cool, cool. I've been to Houston a couple of times because you know, it's right up the street, so it's not for me to jump in my car. But I don't eat out like that. So, I mean, maybe when I was younger, I don't just too much go to these different places. Will it eat a YouTuber? You know, he was He's talking a... about that girl who jumped off the, the building or whatever. And he got his yeah, own that was crazy. And he knew about it. And he said, I ain't going to tell you what happened. I'm like, oh, my God. 
hang it up. <laughs> Tell us nah, happened. Houston, Houston, some serious, man. Houston, 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 uh, yeah, Houston, it's nice. Huge. That's what I didn't like about Houston when I stayed out there. Um, yeah, it's all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I do want to definitely thank you guys for, you know, being on here with us today. Uh, I think that polygamy could work. I think it could save our communities because, like, if we're having a wealth building problem, you know, there's more, uh, there's more power in numbers, but I think it has to be done right. Everybody's feelings has to be taken into consideration. I don't think people should do it if they don't want to do it. You know, I think if it's something that you're open to, and if you're okay with playing second fiddle to somebody, uh, and I'm not saying being a polygamous relationship is playing second fiddle, but I'm just saying you got to know it's, it's other people involved. So if it's something that you truly want to do, and you feel like not because a guy wants to do it, but something that you feel guided to do. Even if you want to have two husbands, I say go for it. Like this is your life. No one can tell you how to live it as long as you're not hurting others, you know. Well, oh, look I at me, look at me, Matthew. See, look, like, yeah, you ain't know he was a legend. You don't know about the ghetto boys. What you know about he them? Know it he know it was. Where I'm from? Come on, man. I'm from Texas, bro. Like, like you can't tell me about. Willie D and the Ghetto Boys. You know that one song, dan 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 All right, then. You know Willie D was on though. There you go. Oh, I didn't know he would be that old now. I don't know why I thought. I guess it's some years back. Oh, I didn't know that was him. I didn't know that. Here's the point. I mean, everybody loved him. I'm not saying you should love him, but I was wondering, like, you know, what was the driving behind all the love? But, okay, so he's a hip-hop host. Okay, I didn't know that. Well, thank you for telling me. Yeah. What other what other song does he have, Jay? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Man, they got they got they got a, they got whole albums together. So I mean, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a Willie D fan like that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, a, I just didn't know who he was, and like you've been studying him since you were two. I like Bushwick <laughs> Bill. I just like Bushwick Bill. You know what I'm saying? It was just something about Bushwick Bill. Hey, those nails stop. Okay, I'm excited, y'all. I got my nails done, so you know they're cute. You gotta do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the only song I know, right? I'm going, you know. <laughs> but uh, as I was wrapping up, thank you. If you know somebody that would like to come on the, uh, my dating show that I'll be starting whenever I get some people, please have them email me or join Boss Beginnings and send me a request and let me know. Because I want to get it together. I think it'll be so fun. We're gonna do Facebook Raiders where we're gonna go through your social media, not like log in, but we're just gonna go on your page and see who we can find and uh, see if we would date you based off of your. I like some thug based off of, but nothing beats. I mean, we're gonna do this. Nothing beats Louisiana music. We got Lil Boosie, we got Lil Wayne, we got Juvenile Mystical. I mean, you we got what? everybody, Master P, to make you say, uh, everybody said, uh, I don't care what you say. So like um, you know, we have like all the classic Look, 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 it's still the South. That's all that matter. At the end of it, it's the South. So so whatever you're talking no, about. No, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw it in one big pot. It's the South. We're not gonna throw it in one big pot because it's it the South. Y'all can have screw. That screw music, y'all can have Oh, that. we 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 yeah, that was us all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's keep them out. There's nothing really to be that proud of, but you crazy. Screw was what? <laughs> no. Nah. What? That was a whole movement. It was just like what's that the bounce, bounce ain't no that bounce ain't no movement still like here. that. It's still here. Ain't nobody let it go yet. Well, it, it was it, it was back in the day. That was it is like you can still go to the club. Right. right. Well, right now it's yeah you can go to them. you can go to Louisiana clubs. You can't come to the clubs. You got a lot of clubs out here here. And want to bounce. Nah. DJ Jubilee, come on now, DJ Jubilee. Is that's like throwback that. though. That's that's throwback. But it ain't like yeah. something current. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, all y'all got is Big Freedom right now on the bounce music. I like Big Freedom. I thought yeah. Big Freedom. Let's go because I can talk all day. Uh, it's uh, but thank you guys for watching the show. Make sure you like, comment. You all guys have to come in. Make sure you like, share the video, and subscribe. Some changes are coming to the channel because I'm trying to get my views up. So please share, share, share. <laughs> and I'm trying to go live more. more but I got sick of DJ Jubilee. Oh my goodness. I, how, how blasphemous of you, okay? We love DJ Jubilee. Uh, that other dude died, not DJ Jubilee. Um, it's one of them people from New Orleans died. But I was like, dang, he's a living legend. All right, guys. Until next time, what is it, KJ? Stay crafty. <laughs> Stay crafty, guys.